soy un periodista especializado en asuntos internacionales. Durante ocho años he colaborado con diversas agencias internacionales de noticias, cubriendo temas políticos, culturales, sociales y ambientales. Héroes cotidianos. La violencia extrema era su más poderosa fuente de adrenalina. Pero como el río desbordado que siempre vuelve a su cauce, lograron transformarse a sí mismos y a toda una comunidad. Tonight, the richest man on earth, Carlos Slim. What's it like to be worth more than $50 billion? Dollars? I think that uh, anything that has uh, privileges, privilege has responsibility. And believe it or not, he lives a lot like the rest of us. We'll show you a humble, unassuming tycoon. With more on the situation in Paris, we go to our correspondent, Luis Arroyo. Although all kind of protests have been banned by French authorities because of the attacks, Even when French authorities have banned any kind of protest, they decide to come here in a peaceful way in order to demand world leaders to find a way to save this planet. Latin American and Caribbean leaders have acknowledged that there is much more to do in order to reach the regional integration of the Salak bloc. However, they have promised to keep working in the key issues affecting this side of the world by 2020. Heads of state and delegations of the 33 countries of Latin America and the Caribbean were welcomed by Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa at the Fort Salak summit that this year was held in Quito at the middle of the world. The government of Macau has decided to diversify its economy in order to not depend only from gambling revenues. That is why they decide to build this university, which already ranks among the top 10 in this country. Last year, the gambling industry gave Macau more than $45 billion, and since May, the sector has grown over 37%. Undeniably, gambling will remain the engine of Macau's economy, the only place in China where such activity is permitted. However, education will also play an important role in its diversification. 